Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see Microsoft Defender for Endpoint on Linux. We'll see how to install Microsoft Defender for Endpoint on Linux. We'll look for the manual method. Well, there are a number of ways you can install Defender for Endpoint on Linux. You can do Puppet, you can do Chef, you can do Auto Automation and there is a manual way as well. You can use Ansible, you can use uh, other configuration management tool as well. So first of all, we will go ahead and try the manual method to deploy Microsoft Defender for Endpoint on Linux manually. There are some prerequisites and system requirements that needs to be taken care. So first of all, I'll create, I'll create a Linux VM on Azure. So I'll just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. All right, I'm logged on to the portal. So what I'll do, I'll just uh, create a new VM, a Linux VM, first of all. It's really simple, will not take much time. I have a free trial. I'll place it in this there. I'll do okay. No infrastructure standard. You can select Ubuntu Pro, Ubuntu Server <coughs> 22, 24, whatever you want. For this lab, I'll go with this sixty four I'll go with the password okay review create I just selected next 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 validation passed I'll check for the disk one one time I'll go with the standard Okay. I click on create. So here it's initializing the deployment and on the security.microsoft.com. I'll go with settings. Endpoints, onboarding under device management, I'll select Linux server. So there are two methods, local script and your preferred Linux configuration management tool. I'll go with local script. Download the onboarding package. Here it is in my downloads folder. All right. Now, as per the documentation, there is a script available on GitHub that we can utilize. I'll open up that. Okay, in this documentation, it talks about the installer bash script here and if I check the code I can download the zip file because you feel go back this is the The script that is available to download through a script, not through the configuration management tool. I'll check why VM it is created. I'll go to the resource. Ubuntu Asar VM is up. 
Okay, now you see this Ubuntu VM and I have this public IP address. So what I'll do is I'll use the WinSCP program to connect to this host name and copy over the deployment package and that script that I downloaded over to this machine. Okay, so let me connect, log in. Accept. It is connected, I'll I'll connect to the download folder and copy over to this directory. I'll see if I'll be able to copy those onto the root directory or I'll have to go and copy under temp due to the restrictions on the folder. Alright, I'll pause and extract all the files and show you how to copy. So the code file that I downloaded from GitHub for that uh, installer script, it's under this path. I will copy it and place it here directly into the downloads with the package that I downloaded a few minutes back. What I'll go is on the remote machine, I will go under user, source. Now, if I try to copy this folder, this is solid script here. Okay. It's giving me permission denied because I don't have assigned permissions for it to copy to this source directory. Okay, I will cancel it. Commands. Open in PuTTY. Have open terminal. Do you want to do the... Okay, I'll assign the permission. I'll enter the command chmot dash r seven seven seven. Okay, on the folder, right? The folder is user and source. So I will use this slash user slash slash source and then slash you see it is changing the permissions on this specific location for the VM that I'm connected to that is my Azure Ubuntu Acer VM okay it'll take a few seconds I'll pause the video and come back I don't know why it's taking a lot of time so I am in temp folder because in temp it didn't stop me to copy the package and the script. So I'll just sudo s here. I'll connect to this machine using Azure CLI. Okay, it's validating. I'll do configure and connect. I'll wait for all these prerequisites to complete. Okay, I'm able to connect with Putty. I'll log in with the password. I'll have to go to temp folder.
No. Okay, what I did was I did sudo s for the root user privileges and then I come typed in cd space temp slash temp slash. Then I am in. Now, if you see this directory, I have this folders. Okay. So I have to use the commands to install these folders and run this script that will help me onboard this Linux VM onto my Defender for endpoint portal. Okay, make sure to run these commands. sudo change mod a plus x on the installer script and for this package so that it does not only have read permissions but it should also have read write permissions. And now if you'll see, I ran this command sudo md installer the installer script with the prod channel and with the onboarding package. It is installing MDE. It is uh, installing the latest package as well. All right. It will take few seconds, few more minutes onboarding the script. You see the results here. MD is installed. It is running the onboarding script and I will see that device in my device this section here very soon. Devices. Bravo. Now if you'll see here, I'm seeing the name here and if I go to the script md installed version onboarding true passive more true device tags it is installed i don't know why i am seeing the name like this it is it should only be uh like this this is my another ubuntu machine but i am seeing the device name now it is i think it was waiting for it to install properly Okay, and now I am seeing this under my assets on the default on the Defender portal. So that is how you onboard machines onto the Defender portal. And this is my so VM. This is a server. This is a workstation, Windows 10, and this is the Ubuntu server. If I'll refresh it, I might see the name properly. All right, now when this VM is installed, you can run few commands to check for the health of the deployment that you've done. How will you do that? I'll tell you. Like you can test the health. You can type in MD, MDATP health field healthy it's true right so the status is true and now if you run an AV detection test to verify that the device is properly onboarded and reporting to the service because when you onboard the device it gives you the command to check the detection test MDATP health Field real time protection enabled. So, real time protection is not enabled. So, I want to enable it. So, I would do MDATP config protection. value enabled configuration properly updated and if you want to see all the detected threats you can do this so there are no threats
And then there are a number of ways through which you can configure and validate exclusions for Microsoft Defender for Endpoint on Linux. So this is the onboarding scenario that I wanted to cover. I hope this video was informative for all of you guys. If you have any further queries, please mention them in the comment section. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.